eeny meeny miny mo. Catch a tiger by his tail if he hollers. Ask her it. Alrighty guys, it's time to show you guys what I got for Christmas. I'm not gonna be balling out with Xbox games, uh, new phones, new everything. Just simple and uh, stuff I actually use. So shout out to my sister for this one. She got me paleo living seasoning. Make it for chicken, fish, beef or pork. Calvin Klein, oh yeah. Cotton tank tops, socks. Five fresh ingredients in five minutes. Idea recipe book, shout out to Michael Simon. Now I also got some really cool stocking stuffers if you want to say, I think my family's trying to tell me something. Men's perfume. This is mind blowing. Daily protein shampoo right here. Daily face wash right here. Herbal mint toner, I have no idea what that's originally used for, but shall we read the back? Um, shave tonic. Getting chronic with the shave tonic. Tonic, and then we have the daily moisturizing conditioner. We have more perfume. Card to Bed Bath & Beyond. So I may just need to get a new appliance for myself. This is kind of a joke gift, but it's the selfie stick. And that's pretty much it guys. I had an awesome Christmas and got to spend it with my family and that's pretty much what matters to me. Presents are only one thing, but being able to spend time with your loved ones is what really makes Christmas. Well guys, it finally came. Let's see what's inside. Present to you guys the Canon EOS 70D. I can't believe this is really happening. Boom. Oh my goodness. It's beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful. Oh my gosh. I can't contain myself. Sorry guys, I'm having a little bit of a moment. Now you may be wondering, there's another part to this. Where's the lens? 10 to 18. What a beast. What a beast. Oh my goodness, this is insane guys. I can't believe this is happening. Oh my goodness, guys, it's insane! I can't believe I did it! I have my first DSLR. Whew. Man, this is insane. Boom. Alrighty, guys, what's up? So you're watching my session from Sunday. It was uh, just after work. I wanted to head in and actually do some accessory work. You're just seeing my squatting, box squats that I did during that session, and I also did some uh, other various hamstring work and everything like that. Um, so I'm really loving box squats. I think that these are gonna be thrown in every week with my uh, additional accessory work for legs. I had a lot of fun doing them. I've done them in a long time. Uh, so just quick in and out, and I really just wanted to, uh, to focus on uh, keeping my chest up right and uh, not using a belt. Uh, I really think that maintaining that and really just along the lines of just keeping my core strength right and just embracing my core, keeping my chest upright, it's really gonna do a lot for me and uh, it's really gonna help me out during the peak of this bulk. So that's that guys, really not too much to say other than that. So stay tuned for the rest of the video.
Chef Electric. Rice and lentils. Stir fry. Let's try out the stir fry, guys. Ordering up those tickets to the LA Fit Expo. That's it, baby. What's going on, guys? It is uh, Monday, the 27th. 28th, sorry. So yeah, I actually have nothing planned today. I don't know. I do need to get, I do want to trade my phone in uh, for the new 6S. Uh, Apple's offering a new program for that, so I'm gonna go attempt to go to the mall today, but I do want to try to get a ride in. Um, actually, and I took three days off the bike last week, so uh, probably gonna be super slow, but that's not really an issue for me. More importantly, I do have my Sony action cam that I found so I'm gonna hopefully get you guys some ride footage which would be which would be really cool So stay tuned for the day stay tuned for my vlog and I might do something a little special tonight, so And here we are you guys finally get to see some ride footage from me I haven't put up ride footage in forever. Uh, just actually lost my Sony action cam So I haven't really just tried looking for it and I tried the other day and found it so um this is kind of hard to film just because I don't have a mount on my helmet or my handlebar, so I literally have to pull my camera out of my jersey pocket and film this way. So that's why it's you're not seeing totally the best. Outside, guys. And it's actually, I kind of prefer it that way because when I put it on my handlebars, it gets vibration from the road and uh, my helmet, it's not so good either. So uh, just some shots for you guys. I mean, overall it was a really cold ride and um, you know, it was kind of one of those ones I just really wanted to get some, uh, some hill work in and be done with and get on with the rest of my day. But uh, I really want to plan on doing more uh, ride footage for you guys. So let me know how you like it. I like seeing uh, where I ride and the scenery and everything like that. Let me know in the comments below and uh, maybe I'll get some more in the future. So that's that guys. Stay tuned for the rest of the video. Check out the new shoes. Oh yeah. These ones in particular are the pros because they have the ultra cushion and something else in them too, I forgot. But regardless, it's gonna be a huge upgrade from my worn out ones that I have now. Serious. Alrighty guys, so right now I'm gonna be trying out the Flax Plus Maple Pecan Crunch. This is from Nature's Path Organic. Um, never had a cereal by them before and I saw this in the store. It's a little bit pricey, but I really wanted to give it a shot, so let's try it out. Well, it certainly does smell like maple syrup. Try it out, guys. Wow. There's a huge, like, crunch factor in this. Yeah, that would make sense because it's called maple pecan crunch, but even with raisin bran crunch, I don't get this much of a crunch. That sensation you get with, like, good, authentic, homemade breakfast food with waffles and pancakes. I mean, the maple syrup presence is strong in this. The flakes are different, they're more of like your generic 
corn flakes are like a thicker, like a thicker wheat flake. Definitely not as sweet as like a corn flakes, but the price tag is pretty pricey. I paid like four bucks for it. For actually, I think it was like four fifty for it. So pretty expensive, but um, if you can get it on sale, I definitely would recommend it. I rate this cereal an eight and a half out of ten. I would give it a nine if it wasn't so expensive, but still very good cereal. Give it a try.